the, the science is there, the science can move very quickly, um, and it's the funding that is required, and of course here the funding was driven by, by need. A medical renaissance. Massive amounts of resources funneled towards developing COVID-19 vaccines, leading to potential medical breakthroughs in other areas like HIV and cancer treatment. The silver lining of a global tragedy. It's like what happens after a war. Despite massive suffering and loss of life, the push to innovate to win leads to a huge jump in technology. For example, advances in radar during World War II eventually led to the invention of the home microwave. Penicillin and all those antibiotics and the search for more, and then it slowed, and we haven't had a new drug in, in that area for quite a while. So this may be the impetus to say we need to protect ourselves better in the future. In this case, it's not the COVID-19 vaccine itself researchers are interested in. It's the first of its kind mRNA technology used to create the vaccine, which holds so much potential. You can see it being applied to antimicrobial resistant bacteria, which are really troublesome and will be uh, in the future if we don't tackle it. They can be used for cancer vaccines. They can be used to cure childhood genetic diseases. They can be used to cure a whole host of other things that ail humans. And, and now we know they work and, and we understand, you know, with this crash course and how to manufacture them at, at massive scale. It's something researchers have been studying for years. And massive amounts of resources put into developing a COVID-19 vaccine catapulted that work forward. We've learned that we can take, you know, a devastating worldwide disease and come up with a, a you know, cure for it in a, in a rapid, you know, almost unprecedented time. And there's really no reason we can't do this for every other disease that plagues us. In Calgary, Jonathan Muma, City News.